Yo, what is good? It's Solo, and the Eagles just traded for Jordan Howard for, I mean, a bag of chips, basically. Like, they had traded him for nothing. They only had to give up a six-round pick for next year's draft. I mean, to me, that's basically nothing. Don't tell that, don't tell that to Chicago. I mean, like, they made the trade. And they probably, I, I don't understand how they didn't get more value out of it. Because, like, a six-round pick in 2020, like, Jordan Howard has produced three years in a row. And Jordan Howard already comes in on the Eagles roster as the best running back on, his, on the Eagles roster right now. So, it's... It's a win for the Eagles. It's an L for Chicago. Like, I just... That's just... I mean, you give up a starting running back for, like, nothing, basically. And I'm, they, they probably have plans to move on from him and uh, draft a running back. Um, I think they don't, I think they don't have a first or second. I got, I got to go back and check that. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's great for the Eagles, man. Like, they they really need a guy like it, that has the vision that Jordan Howard does. And while he's not like my ideal type of running back, like he's not my favorite type of running back, he's he he he, he can do the bare minimum of what is required. And the running backs that we had on the roster last year, they couldn't even do that. Like they just weren't efficient enough. They didn't have the vision. They didn't have like they would just run into blockers and just not hit the hole quick enough or. Like it just wasn't um, consistent, and that's why we didn't run. They we didn't. That, that's probably why we lost the playoff games. Like that wasn't. We didn't score much in the in those playoff games. We only scored 16 points and rushed for under 50 yards against the Bears, and 14 points and rushed under 50 yards against the Saints. So like it, they the the Eagles offense needs a running game, and they just they really just need a guy that can um come in and just. Hit the holes, like hit the holes that the offensive line is giving you. Read your blocks, not just run straight into the lineman. That's like, you know, there's a clear hole and you just don't see it. Like that's what was that was the problems that the Eagles were having last year. But Jordan Howard is a starting running back, and you know he's not a third down type back. He's not a receiving back, but he he has skill sets. He has power. Like I kept saying, he has vision. He. And he's not a big play guy, but he's going to finish off runs physically. And that's what the Eagles need. Now, this doesn't, like, mean that they won't still take a running back in the draft. Like, they they probably should because Jordan Howard's still, like, he's on the last year of his contract, his rookie contract. And, I mean, that I don't know if they have any plans to keep Like, it's too early to say if they're going to keep him or not because we literally just traded for him. But, I mean, he's... Like he has his skill set. Like he's not like a every down back. He's not a um, third down back. A guy that you're gonna like trust running routes and catching the ball like that. Like that's why the uh, Bears kind of like used utilized Tariq Cohen more than, and they didn't really give Jordan Howard that much of an opportunity. But Jordan Howard still had nine touchdowns last year, and while he had 3.7 yards per carry, which is like not really great. You know, he's still produced over the last three years. Like, I think he was um, second leading rusher in 2016. And he, I mean, just look at his stats. Like, he produces. He He's, like, he's been a top running back st statistically for the past two years. So, it's a great move for the Eagles. It's the L for the uh, Bears. It's just, this is Howie Rosen. This is what he does. He just makes moves. He doesn't stop. He doesn't sleep. And um, that's all I got to say on the situation. And uh, go birds.